Right now at 5.30, police are investigating exactly what led up to a deadly stabbing this morning outside of a house in Murray Hill. In the last few hours, police left the scene, and News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker got a glimpse of the people inside the home on Ernest Street where all of this unfolded. She is joining us from that neighborhood. Marilyn, what do we know right now? Well, you know, I actually spoke with neighbors who say they haven't had the best interactions with the man living inside this home. You can take a look. It's right here behind me. And JSO says a man and his girlfriend who are in their 60s live here. And one neighbor we spoke with says this incident actually doesn't surprise him at all. Ma'am, can you let us know what happened there this morning? We didn't get answers from the people inside this home where JSO says a man was stabbed and killed Monday morning. I mean, that's very odd. It's very quiet around here. We watched JFRD wash away the blood on the driveway where police found a man in his 30s dead. Police say just before 830 this morning, the man was banging on their door. They say the homeowner, a man in his 60s, answered the door and that the man was looking for someone who the homeowner says didn't live there. It seems like the people around here either know each other or keep to themselves. JSO says that's when a fight broke out and the homeowner grabbed a knife off the porch and stabbed him. If you're at the wrong house, I don't know how that could lead to a fight. News for Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson says if police can find one, they need a third witness, which could be surveillance video. Police say this could be a case of self-defense and Jefferson says it would fall under the castle laws. My advice would be uh, when answering your door, if you're not expecting someone, don't answer the door. You know, and if they try to come in, call the police. No arrests have been made in this case. JSO hasn't identified the man who was killed or the man who stabbed him. And you're taking a look kind of closer at the flower pot that you see tempt over. That's what we saw a bit closer to the door, but we actually didn't see blood until we got to the end of the driveway here. And once more details become available, we'll update the story for you both on air and online. We're live in Murray Hill tonight. Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station.